Hullaby City Spoiler Review, Saka Breaks Down. What a beautiful, heartbreaking, heart-stopping episode tonight's Hullaby City was. It centered around Saka Levy, a man who is the essence of warm, fuzzy friendliness, a man who cares about everybody. A man, it turns out, who has been in quiet agony for over a year. We knew that Saka suffered from depression. There was the period when he had liposuction and a hair dye job to try to look younger, and then when he started shoplifting to try to ease his pain. He seemed to have dealt with it, he got help, he was back to his old self. But in this episode, through flashbacks, we revisited a lot of events from the past year and saw them from a different angle, and saw that he's been in pain and hiding it all the while. As he helped Jack to get over her gunshot wound as he supported Desi through her grief about Raf and Rick through his spell in prison, nobody was supporting Saka and he was feeling more and more isolated and useless. This was a densel packed, detailed script which cleverly wove the poignant flashback scenes in with a present-day crisis for Saka, in which the death of a patient made him seriously consider jumping from the roof of the hospital. The patient was Connor Barrett, a young man with multiple serious health issues. He and Saka had formed a bond dash he was the right patient at the right time, Saka said, a person who needed him when nobody else seemed to. Connor was brave and funny and understanding, and Saka opened up to him about how terrified he'd felt operating on Jack after the shooting, how he loved Desi. It was Connor who helped Saka learn French when he wanted to talk to hospital cleaner Patricia. Connor had been there throughout all of these trials, and Saka promised he would make him better. Then he died during surgery. Some of the most poignant scenes were of Saka praying by Connor's bedside after he'd died, not wanting him to be alone. Connor's friend and fellow patient Tyler took over reading the psalm when Saka had to leave, both her and Obscura as Tyler and Luke Higgins as Connor played their roles beautifully and did so much to make this episode as moving as it was. For the viewer, tension mounted as we saw Saka saying goodbye to the people dearest to him because we knew how desperate he was feeling but they didn't. There was even a little joke as he said goodbye to Jack, still very ill and barely awake. Am I dying? She said. Saka said she wasn't. So what's with the goodbyes? Even partially conscious, Jack is more perceptive than most. When Saka went to see Essie she was distracted by some work she was doing for Gaskell, but Saka's face as he hugged her was so sad. Then he went to the roof, and stepped over the pitifully low barrier to stand on the very edge. Rick Griffin, who'd argued with Saka on the roof earlier, was now desperately looking for him in the car park. Finally he looked up, and there was an amazing overhead shot as we looked down on Saka teetering on the edge of the roof and saw Rick on the ground, rushing back into the building. This was all incredibly tense and sad as Saka told Rick he couldn't go on and Rick tried to convince him that there was hope and help. Bob Barrett and Hugh Quashie were brilliant in this scene, completely immersed in their characters and in the moment. Eventually Rick persuaded Saka to take his hand and we all got to breathe again. There was some optimism at the end in the form of Tyler, who still believed in Saka and wanted him to take him on as a patient. I just want to know there's someone on my side, he said, and eventually Saku agreed, because if you need someone on your side, Saku is that someone. Tyler also brought a gift from Connor, a flowery shirt even more lurid than Saka's usual models. He told Saka how much he'd helped Connor. So there was hope and positivity, and Saku is going to take a few weeks off to care for himself before he comes back to caring for other people. We've seen characters like Hanson and Jack who contain their feelings with sheer willpower until they break. With Saka he's so busy caring for others that he puts his needs last in the queue, not wanting to add to anyone else's hurt by admitting hurt of his own. It was a powerful hour of television and an incredible piece of work from Bob Barrett, and hopefully it will underline that it's always best to seek out help before things get too much.